What is up, creative world? You want to know how to become a good artist? You just go to the studio, make art, and you practice. So that's what I'm doing today. I got that canvas. I, I keep thinking that these things are like precious and that I need to have the perfect idea and I have to be like amazing to make art. But you know what? I'm not always amazing and I never will be if I don't just create. So today I have a couple ideas in the noggin and I'm just going to paint for a couple of hours and see how far we we get. What I'm gonna try to do today is work with stencils. So I'm gonna make a do you boo boo stencil and then we're gonna see what kind of cool art we can make with this canvas. I'm probably also gonna paint a skateboard. I want to paint a skateboard, but I don't know how far we're gonna get. So let's just start with the stencil and see how far we get. All right, that's pretty good. Something I've been talking about on the channel for a long time is just figuring out how to actually get the proportions of the words do you boo boo on a canvas right it, the whole thing looks off so i want to really try to get it kind of nice and i'm going to do that with another layer of pink over the yellow and once i get the shape and the outline a little bit better i'm going to outline it with a pen and then kind of cut out the stencil and go from there i love this i feel like what I'm doing right now is I'm actually slowing down. Every time I paint these these letters, I always just go crazy and I just kind of wing it. And this right now is forcing to me to really like slow down and try to get the shapes right, which surprisingly is allowing me to have a lot more control over what I'm doing. I don't typically spend a lot of time painting with a brush, but I feel like that's something I need to kind of make an effort to do more of because uh, not only am I enjoying it, I think that the results are looking cool. I really like how the pink and the yellow are combining together. That can actually be a piece on its own. As most of you know, I'm trained as an architect and not an artist, so I use different tools and tricks to compensate for where I lack as a technical artist right so actually getting proportions right so now I'm using trace paper to trace out the best letters that I like and move the paper around and actually build the best composition that I can the stencil looks good I really like how the letters came out and it fits the canvas really nicely my original plan was to actually transfer this onto a piece of paper and turn it into a stencil but I think the better thing to do is to just paint the canvas with the background that I'm thinking of once that's done use transfer paper to transfer the outline of this onto the canvas and then use masking tape to mask everything off. Check it out, it looks awesome. I really love how the colors came out. I love the drips. Now we're gonna use the transfer paper. We're gonna lay this down on top of the canvas and trace out the letter. This is now the most important thing, trying to get it perfectly aligned on the canvas. Okay. So Jessica just pointed out that this whole time, I wrote do boo boo. I forgot the U. So. I think you should see if anyone catches it. You should put another O in there. Ah. Uh, just do boo boo. boo, -boo? I don't I know. I, I think you might have someone who wants to buy it already. <laughs> Jessica always loved my pieces, which is nice. I have a fan. That's supposed to say D O U, but I forgot to trace this O, and I actually made that an O, which is supposed to be a U. So I can definitely fix that, and I'm probably just gonna do this by hand at this point. This is really coming together. For my first time masking and cutting things like this, I think it turned out pretty dope. I accidentally cut this part of the D, but I think I'm gonna leave it the way it is. So now we just gotta throw on the top coat. Let's get to it. And 
now for the moment we've all been waiting for to take off the mask and reveal the pretty colors behind the black background. I've been, this is literally the only reason why I made this piece. So I'm super excited that I'm at this point. I'm so hyped on how this came out. Like the goal was to just come to the lab and create. I think the proportions look good, the color, the contrast, the way that the lettering pops off of the background is just to die for. This video was about just coming to the studio and, and putting my ideas to work and just seeing what would come out. If you're thinking about making some art, go out there and make art. Who cares? Just just do the work. Just show up and make it happen. And this for sure is not its last iteration. What I'm considering for this piece now is doing an outline around the lettering, maybe in a different color that makes it contrast a little bit more and adds a little bit more flair to it. And eventually, as expected, I'm definitely gonna put a layer of epoxy over it. Anyways, let me know what you think. Let me know if I should do the epoxy and if I should do the outline or if it's perfect the way it is and we should just move on to the next one anyways creative world thanks so much for hanging out with me at the studio today and until next time never stop creating <laughs>